Hello friends. In this video, we are discussing about calculation of RL of a bike. Let us move on to example number one. The instrument was set over a station T having RL at 150 meter. So let us write down the given first. RL of P is given as 150 meter. The height of instrument. That is H I is 1.38 meter. The steady I am reaching a staff held vertical at a Q with instrument at P where so this is what upper, middle and lower reading. By using this reading, we can find out staff intercept. That is upper reading minus lower reading. So we can get the staff intercept as 1.45. Meter, while the vertical angle, that is theta, is nine degree thirty meter, and we have to find out RL of Q and the horizontal distance between the Q point. To start with the problem, let us draw the solution first. So we have a point. That is point P, over which the instrument is set up. This is your instrument axis. Okay. Now, as we can see, we have the angle equal to minus nine point three zero. Minus means what? It is in depression. So your point Q is in depression. So Q over here. We are bisecting Q from P, so we'll get three readings. That is lower, middle, and upper reading. So from middle reading to the ground is known as small h. From middle reading to our instrument axis, that is V, and the staff intercept between upper and Lower point that is S, and this is your theta. Now we have to find out the horizontal distance between point P and Q, that is D, and we have to know the RL of point P, and the RL of P is given as 150 meter. So let us start with the solution. So first of all, we will find out the horizontal distance D. The formula to calculate D is D is equal to F upon I S cos square theta plus F plus C cos theta. So by using this formula, we have to just put the values. As we know, F upon I is not given. We will assume it as hundred. As we have calculated already, that is one point four five cos theta is nine degree thirty minute square plus F plus C. Let us assume that the instrument is fitted with analytic lens, so f plus c will be zero. The whole term will be zero. So by using the formula, we we'll get the horizontal distance equal to 141.05 meter. To find out RL of point Q, we require vertical distance. Now let us find out vertical distance. The formula to find out vertical distance is f upon i s. Sine two theta upon two plus f plus c sine theta. Just put the values by calculating the values. We'll get answer equal to twenty three point six zero meter. So now we have horizontal distance. That is nothing but distance of PQ. Which we have find out. Now we have to find out RL of Q. So to find out RL, first of all we require to find out RL of instrument axis. Now RL of instrument axis. We are standing over point P and we have to reach to instrument axis. The formula will be what RL of P that is known point plus H I that is your height of instrument. So RL of P is one fifty plus Height of instrument H I is given as 
minus v v is you already calculated 23.06 minus h is nothing but your middle reading so middle reading was 1.936 and the answer is 124.846 meter so likewise we have calculated rl of q as well as horizontal distance qq thank you